morning with your CIG TV News update. I'm Donna Bush. We begin with an update on Health City Cayman. Dr. Devi Shetty, a number of his colleagues and local shareholder, Gene Thompson, met with cabinet Gentlemen. ministers Monday morning. The group met with officials to provide them with an update on where the Health City Cayman project has reached and what happens next. According to Dr. Shetty, the first phase of the hospital will open on February 24, 2014. The focus at the 140-bed hospital will be on heart and orthopedic treatments. Now, a hotel has been designed as well to be built, and eventually Health City Cayman Islands will expand to a 15 to 200 2,000 bed hospital over a 15 year period. Now, a medical school is also planned for our sister island of Kim and Brack, and oncology and transplant services will be offered once the hospital is finished. Now, according to local shareholder Gene Thompson, the group is actively working with airlines to get more flights to the Cayman Islands. Cayman Airways will move staff through Moscow to uh, Havana, Cuba. That's the same location where medical supplies will come through. Mr. Thompson says staff is expected to arrive in six to eight weeks with the bulk of staff expected to be in place by January, including local Caymanians. He adds that local staff is already being identified to take up positions with some 20 to 25 locals being interviewed on island just last week. Now, health city officials say starting next month, they're going into local schools and all students will be given towards the facility. The goal is to encourage children to take up jobs in the medical profession. Well, CIG TV becomes a part of history as we air the first ever public accounts committee meeting on Monday night. You can watch last Thursday's meeting starting at 8 o'clock right here on CIG TV. PAC's role is to review previous financial reports and evaluate recommendations by the Cayman Islands Auditor General's Office. PAC members include the Honorable McKeever Bush Opposition Leader and MLA's Roy McTaggart, Captain Eugene Ebanks, Mr. Winston Connolly Jr. and Mr. Joseph Hugh. Well, on Monday morning, Governor Mrs. Helen Kilpatrick swore in a new acting Grand Court judge. Justice Alastair Malcolm QC will now sit on the bench of the Cayman Islands Grand Court as an acting judge for some time. Chief Justice Mr. Anthony Smelly was also on hand for the swearing in on Monday morning. Also on Monday morning, Governor Kilpatrick officially met the leader of the opposition. The meeting with the Honorable McKeever Bush took place in Her Excellency's office in the Government Administration Building. Meeting the leader of the opposition is part of the usual process. When a new governor arrives, no word on what was discussed between Mr. Bush and Governor Kilpatrick. Well, as always, if you missed today's news update, you can get all the details on our Facebook and YouTube pages. And don't forget, of course, to tune into Radio Cayman's Talk Today show. That's every day from 1215 with host Sterling Dwayne Ebanks. On Talk Today Tuesday, Millicent Webster will discuss the Belfort Estates Community Emergency Response Team. And Catherine Whitaker and James Miles from the Youth Services Unit will also be guests on the show. All right, folks. Well, that's it for your CIG TV News update for today. I'm Donna Bush, as always. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.